Five, a high-speed chase that crossed state lines ended with officers shooting a man in a northwest Portland neighborhood this morning. That's where we find Fox 12's Bridget Chavez live in the Taylor Crest neighborhood. Bridget, I'd imagine these people are pretty shaken up who live around there. What are you hearing from them? Yeah, they are, Nora. One woman says she thought they were being evacuated for a wildfire and tells me she heard about three gunshots. A stolen pickup truck and high-speed chase across state lines ended with Portland police opening fire on 27-year-old Andreas Boynet. Just before 2 this morning, police say Boynet stole a truck near Southwest 3rd Avenue and Ash Street. They say he recklessly drove the stolen truck up to Washington State, then made his way back to Portland before reaching a dead end near Northwest Miller and Ash Street. We woke up, I guess, about 3 o'clock in the morning to a pop, pop, pop. Two PPB officers opened fire, hitting Boynet once. He was taken to the hospital and is expected to be okay. Jenna Sells lives in the neighborhood and tells me she thought they were being evacuated for a wildfire. And upon opening my front door, I discovered that I should not go out there because the police had someone pinned in their car. Boynet did cause some damage to the neighborhood. This brick wall smashed and another neighbor showed us where one of the bullets fired by police grazed her car. PPB has not said exactly why officers used their guns or if Boynet had a weapon. If they hadn't had the resources to track him, I don't know what he would have done here or other places. Sell says she recently moved her family to this northwest neighborhood to be in a safer part of the city. Uh, we were tired of playing the was that a gunshot game, so we thought that if we moved up here, we would know it was a fireworks or a gunshot. So, um, yeah, it's, it was a little shocking to move back to, but it's Portland's still a great area, and we still love being here. Both of the officers have been placed on administrative leave, and their names will be released tomorrow. Boynet has already been released from the hospital and booked into the Multnomah County Justice Center. He's charged with recklessly endangering another person, reckless driving, unauthorized use of a vehicle, and an attempt to elude in a vehicle. And PPB is asking anyone who has any more information on this to contact them immediately. Boynet will be arraigned tomorrow at 2 p.m. Reporting live in Northwest Portland, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12, Oregon.